two runners in the backfield. And why not Bobby Hebert and Jamal Anderson? And we love the way he plays. Look at this, Thomas. Boom! Through the Steelers. And it's a 27-yard pickup down to the five. Couple plays later. Hebert to Robbie. So back, 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 back. Blind man eligible. Touchdown. Seven, I think, foul. Yeah, and what makes this play is Tobek does a good job of selling the block on the end and then sliding out into the flat. Hebert delivers for the touchdown. And then a good job by the Falcons for most of the day of putting pressure on Tom Zach. There, Cornelius Bennett comes free for one of four sacks that they had on the day. Third quarter, the Steelers down 10 to three. Mike Tomczak to Andre Hastings. It's the battle of Hastings. 12 yard touchdown. We're tied at 10. Tomczak, 22 of 27 for 214. He was on it again. Later in the third, his 100 yard rushing streak snapped last week. But Jerome Bass does what he does best. That's right, go north, south. Here we go, and boom. 24 yards, a good block by Tim Lester, number 34. That's Gladys Bettis, not Gladys Knight, the pips, but Gladys Bettis' his mom. Then from the one in, touchdown, Steelers lead 17 to 10, 90 yards in the second half alone for the big fella. Fourth quarter, though, the Falcons, gritty. They played well these last few weeks, despite the fact they had nothing to show for it. Bobby Hebert to Burt Emanuel. 42 yards, sets up a four-yard TD from Hebert to Emanuel, it ties it at 17. Just over three minutes to go in a tie game, Bettis. Uncorks a 15-yard run. Norm Johnson warming up. Will he be the hero? Then Tom Zach. Hastings, left flat, makes the comeback catch down to the 21. Bills get inside the five. Three seconds to go. Good. Norm Johnson, it's good. Bill Coward, it's good. Atlanta Falcons, it's bad.